Hello, this is Walker Physics, 4th edition, and we're in Chapter 6 on Applications of Newton's Laws. Into the uh, section Questions on the section of Circular Motion. Question number 64. You swing a 4.6 kilogram bucket of water in a vertical circle at radius 1.3 meters. What speed must the bucket have for it to complete the circle without spilling water? Okay, don't know if you've ever done this. Have you ever spun a bucket around and around and let the water stay in the bucket okay and then how does your answer depend on the mass of the bucket all right we did this a little bit uh, in a previous question with the car going over the hill and we found that if the people in the car are weightless then what's happening all right so let me draw you some pictures so if I have if I have mg that's my weight but my apparent weight okay whether i feel weightless or not see if i feel weightless i'm still have weight i don't ha i don't stop having mass times gravity just because i feel weightless the feeling weightless means that my normal force okay the normal force is the force equal to the weight that is pulling from the seat the seat is pushing up so in this case, it's pushing the water into the top of the bucket or into the bottom of the bucket as it's going around the top of the, of the arc. So you're kind of moving your arm around and the water's in and it doesn't slosh out, okay? So in this case, you've got, you've got N equals mg and it's going away from the top of the circle. Your, ex, your um, centripetal force is always acting towards the center of the circle, okay? When these two balance, when these two are exactly the same, you feel weightless because you've got your full mass times gravity divided by or subtracting minus your centripetal force. When this equals zero, you feel weightless, okay? So that's what's happening. So in the, in the case of weightlessness, um, you, this is equal to m times centripetal acceleration. Well, that means that in the case of weightlessness, your gravity is being is equal to your acceler uh, to your centripetal acceleration. And then when it subtracts, it goes down to zero, and you don't feel any force on the seat. Okay, that's what's happening. So if you have a bucket that's going around an arc, so here's the handle the bucket and here's the bucket and I've got some water in the bucket and as it goes to the top of the, the arc the water stays in the bucket well it must be at least I mean I guess you could go it faster but it has to at least be weightless it has to be going fast enough to where it's at least weightless which means that your centripetal acceleration has to equal gravity so if you're acceler if you're if, if it's equal to gravity, then, then this is equal to 9.81, and your ex centripetal acceleration is equal to the square of the velocity over the radius, and they give us a radius of 1.3 meters. So the, the math is actually pretty simple. This is just going to be 9.81 times 1.3, square root of that. And I get V equals 3.57, two, two significant digits, so 3.6 meters per second. So this is A. And then your second question is, what if you had a bigger bucket? Like if I do a small bucket over my head like this or a bigger bucket over my head, is it still going to fall out or will it fall out if it's bigger or less? And just from your experience, it doesn't matter how much water is in that bucket as long as you can lift it. If you can lift that water, you can sling it and it'll stay in the bucket. So it must not have anything to do with the mass. But why? All right, well, let's look here. Do you see that the masses are going to cancel? And then the, if your acceleration is equal to your gravity, it subtracts, and so it goes to zero. So your force is equal to zero independent of the mass doesn't matter because the masses are going to cancel anyway 
so it so it really doesn't matter okay I guess if you want to write something I would say um, you could say G minus centripetal force times M equals centripetal force or um, and this is zero that means your force is zero okay not sure exactly what to say but that's a good guess all right thank you